In this video, we're going to check on how to diagnose your Bosch DJetronic map sensor or pressure sensor. Uh, just overall on to see if it's working and in good condition. Uh, you want to check the adjustment screw on the back. This one is still potted in and sealed. It hasn't been tampered with. Uh, overall, it looks to be in good condition. It's a little dirty. This sensor we're working on today ends in part number 051C. Uh, you know, overall, this is pretty clean. Uh, we have terminals, four of them right here. You have 15, 10, 8, and 7. So, all you need to get this done, a good vacuum gauge that holds vacuum, like this one. Some vacuum gauges don't hold vacuum, they just produce vacuum and then drop off. This one produces and holds. And a multimeter, you can pick one up for, you know, roughly $5 anywhere. So go ahead and get your multimeter, set it to ohms. We're going to check the outer two pins first. Go ahead and get a reading here. We're getting 93 ohms, 93.4 ohms. The spec for this is 90 ohms with a tolerance of 80 to 120, so we know that circuit is good. Now the inner two pins, check those, we're getting 338 ohms. The spec for this is 360 with a tolerance of 300 to 400 ohms, so right now this looks really good electrically. And then check the outer two pins here next to each other. We're getting zero ohms, that's great. And we're getting zero ohms. Now we want to ground out our sensor on the body and check every single pin. We got nothing. Electrically, this sensor looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and get the multimeter out of the way. What we're going to be doing next is pulling a vacuum on this. We're going to be pulling 15 inches of mercury on our vacuum gauge and the rule of thumb here is when you pull 15 inches of uh, mercury on the vacuum gauge you don't want it to fall below 13 inches within 10 seconds so if it falls to 12 inches in 5 seconds 8 seconds 9 that's it you know it's, it's it looks like we have a bad torn diaphragm in this vacuum gauge I'm sorry this is a map sensor pressure sensor so go ahead Make sure you have a good seal. What we're going to do is slowly bring it up. Let me zoom in here. Yeah. So we're going to bring it up nice and slow. You don't want to pull any more than 15 inches either, or you could tear the diaphragm. Alright, I'm at 15. Now we count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. As you've noticed, it's still at 15, so this is a very, very nice pressure sensor. Uh, if it started dropping off, you know, within 10 seconds to 13, you have a small tear in here. Um, so, right now, this looks to be in fantastic condition. I just released the vacuum here with the little plunger at the bottom. So, this sensor looks to be absolutely perfect. We'll install it on the car and actually see. Let's take a look at a bad sensor real quick, just so you get an idea. This sensor, right here, We'll check it electrically first. Check the outer two pins on terminal number 15 and 7. 95 ohms, it's with intolerance. We'll check the inner two pins, terminal 10 and 8, or at least it looks like 8. It's the inner two. It's pretty easy. 360 with intolerance as well. Electrically, 
you know, this looks fantastic. Nothing's grounded. Nothing between the two. So, we're off to a good start. This is also potted. Let's do our vacuum test on this sensor. Notice how it's dropping very quickly. I don't even have to count. So this pressure, pressure ugh, this map sensor uh, has a vacuum leak in the diaphragm on the back or the rubber seal between the two halves. So this is possibly rebuildable in the future, but uh, now that we have this verified good one, we're not going to use this sensor. This is the problem that we were having with the car running too rich because it couldn't measure correctly. So we'll put this in a pile. And we'll mar mark it as bad so we don't accidentally mix it up with anything. But that's how to test your uh, Bosch D-Chet Tronic pressure sensor or what most people call a map sensor.